this is not tornado damage despite how it looks this is actually the front fence of my brother and sister-in-law's house that fence got taken down by a drunk that's right this house received more damage from a booze hound who doesn't deserve a driver's license than a tornado this house did actually receive some damage um, nothing severe as it looks like uh, obviously right there is remnants of a branch There's a garage without a roof. No damage to the house, though. So. Notice the top of the basketball hoop is broken apart. Here's a good shot of the row of trees. It, all their tops got taken out. You can definitely see a lot of the sky. There used to be two or three houses resting right behind there. You wouldn't be able to see all the way through. We're nearing the hardest hit area, the most hardest hit area of Streeter. Remember when I went on that tour last year? I showed you what Southside looked like. There's one dugout. Bullpen with some damage to it. There's the other dugout. It's a closer look of what's inside it. This is all the heart of what got hit in town. Down on the corner of Hall and Powell.
The one thing I forgot to tape on the last trip to Streeter, this new clock that the town has. You can see it's about 10 minutes to noon. It says Streeter on the top, right there. Goes around all four ways. Almost lunchtime. That used to be a billboard. It's no more. You drive down this way, normally you would see a lot of trees down there. Along with Hall Street, this area was also taken down a lot of notches. This is near Vermilion Street. The outfield wall of the new baseball diamond that was opened about a year and a half ago in the back stop. Obviously the infield dirt, all covered by grass, very unplayable. Oakland Park. Look at this. School did not get hurt. That hole was a house. Construction going on everywhere. My old friend Matt's house, he went to Streeter High before moving to Kansas his senior year. Doesn't look like too much was hurt from it.